Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 here in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this afternoon by Alan Abdullah, who is the CEO of Bahasu uh, in Indonesia. But welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, let's talk a little bit about, so you've just, just come out straight out of a, a panel session, have you, here at uh, Telecom World? Perhaps yes, I just us, did, actually. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about it. Oh, I was really nervous. It's actually my first panel. Um, and it was international and I was sitting with people with much more experience than I am, especially in the topic because uh, my background is actually in education technology and the topic today was AI. But yeah, it was a great session. Um, I think all the, a lot of the audience was involved. Um, so it was looking at AI and gender mainstream, or gender bias, gender bias I should say. Yeah, okay. so, yeah so yeah. When, when I first got the topic, I didn't even know that there was a uh, gender uh, inequality in a artificial intelligence technology and just to, i needed to make sure and i asked actually the people that was watching us i'm like I, I put it up on the floor and i'm like who before this panel knew about this and there was like only two hands out of 30 people right Amazing. yeah so and what were some of the key takeaways from that session i mean um my personal one was uh that it has to start from awareness. I mean, uh, when, when, when people in the ITU who's joining the forum didn't even, wasn't even aware about it, like I think awareness should be the foundation first. And then obviously regulation and everything else comes to play. So it's basically, the, the, the session was saying, or talking about the fact that there is gender bias in AI, that, yes. that essentially that it's uh, choosing uh, men over women, or how, what, 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 where is the bias? How is the bias it, it was, working? It was um, more to, uh, the AI technology focusing or targeting more to men in more favorable than women. I see. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't think it's just, just in AI, of course, so in a lot of other things too. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about Bahasa and what's, what does Bahasa do? So Bahasa is actually an education technology. Um, so we start with language. We partner up with the University of Indonesia, which is the leading in the university. Um, we create a platform where it's interactive, it's fun. And then um, basically, and the people or our users will get a certificate from the University of Indonesia when they complete the course, which they, of course they can use to apply for jobs and everything else. Okay, and then how's it been going? How, how far have you uh, spread, spread this uh, net? So we're, currently we have around 500,000 users, so half a million. Um, the pie is much bigger, but I'm proud to say that we are also helping the areas, in the rural areas, together with Bhakti, um, come, come to our pavilion and know more about Bhakti. Uh, basically, uh, when, I, when I first had a meeting with them, they, they explained to me that they put in over a thousand schools free internet. And then I asked them, I'm like, what do you do afterwards? They're like, oh no, we just put internet. And then I'm like, you know, that, 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 that quota is just gonna be ended up on doing people doing social media and such, right? So um, from that, we became, we became the content partner. So we actually developed um, a platform where it has, what do you call it, um, offline mode, like Spotify. So these students in the rural areas, like I'm, I'm talking about really rural, like people going to school in like little, you know, wooden boats and stuff. Like, um, so they can go there and then they can download it from the government's uh, free internet. And then they can like learn when they're home. So we're right now currently in over 500 schools in the rural areas. Which innovation do you think is going to be key to connecting the unconnected? Uh, that's, that's, that's a tough question. I think um, every, every startup have different key uh, factors. Um, education for one is obviously uh, our platform. Bahaso is self-learning and people in Indonesia is not yet used to self-learning like you know when we're talking about uh, first world countries or more uh, modern countries um, the, the, the people 
they have online classes since like college. We don't have that in Indonesia, so to, to, to kind of push them towards self-learning, to actually take their time from WhatsApp, playing games or whatever, and actually go to an education technology platform and spend their time there instead of playing games and everything was, it's, it's, yeah, it's, we're still trying to do that. What about language barriers? What about the, the, the uh, content that is, that is online? How much uh, does it help to have local content in local language? Yeah, that's the thing, right? Um, like, I'm lucky enough that I, I grew up in an international school. You know, so that, that kind of pushed me also to helping the whole Indonesia um, know English because I, I think it's unfair that I have access to so much more information than the others just because of language. You know, I understand that it's difficult because in, in Indonesia, you don't have to know English. It's different where, when, uh, for example, in India, they talk with each other in their language, but when it comes to the Supreme Court and everything else, it's in English. So by default, they have to learn English. That doesn't, that, that's not there in Indonesia. So, but I think it's important. It's globalization. It's, you know, everyone should have the same opportunity for information and everything else. So, and for startups, how important is uh, is government support or investment uh, in in keeping that uh, continuity and keeping the energy going? Of course, um, I mean, government support is huge in startups. Like, um, reg the regulation and everything else is it's 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 something new. Uh, so, government support in, in in terms of like telling us startups uh, what's going on and then bringing us to forums like this and everything, I think it's, it's, it's very key. Uh, and in terms of investment, yes, it's, 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 a, it's a battle of the fittest. 95% of startups in my stage, that's, that's the failure rate, 95%. So right now they're calling my startup in the valley of death. And this is worldwide, not just Indonesia. So when it comes to investment, it's really important because that's that's what drives you, like to in, to innovate. You know, it's in startup. It's you don't. It's innovate or die, basically. And what about five G? Is five G going to uh, open up uh, lots of opportunities for you? Do you think? I think it would help. Uh, more internet access obviously would help because uh, the bottom of the pyramid is actually the biggest population in Indonesia. So I think access. For internet all over Indonesia would be helpful to both the users and us startups. Um, in terms of 5G, for me, I don't think, and for Bahaso, I'm speaking for Bahaso as well, I don't think it would make that big of a difference because right now, not even all of our areas get 3Gs. You know what I mean? So some of them are still on, you know, 2Gs, 3Gs. So even 4G, they don't have. They don't have access yet, so to, for the government to focus on making it 5G, I think only a certain amount of people will enjoy it. And of course, it's important for enterprises and businesses, but uh, for the mass, I don't think it should be the main focus. What's been your impression here of uh, ITU Telecom World? Uh, it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, um, I, I thought coming to a you know, like a conference or exhibition would be very tense and everything. And then going around, you see people sitting in bean bags and people just actually having fun, uh, networking and everything. I think uh, IT is a very great platform. Um, it's not just for business to business. It's not just for government to government, but actually people and startups like me get so much opportunity from this, uh, from this uh, ITU. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. We're not sitting on beanbags here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll make some recommendations. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us, and we wish you all the very best uh, for the future, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again at another sure. ITU Telecom event. Thank you. Thanks a lot.